it, guys. This, this is how all my Q&A's go. <laughs> Um, thank you so much for wanting to be here with us today, and, and, and thank you for wanting to talk to me. I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm yeah. so excited to talk to you because we're... I'm also nervous. Really? I'm a little nervous, too. These people screaming is kind of <laughs> It's better, it's better, you know, them screaming than if they're just sort of, like, skeptically silent. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's preferable that they're, that they're doing this. It's great. So it's nothing you're doing. You're just... But we, we know each other because we're both part of the Aaron Desner, the National Cinematic Universe. Just in the glass, those are chapters of her book, One Day. Wow. But there's more. Um, so there's this, red, there's this red typewriter, and if, if you look really closely when we're, when we're following um, her through this hallway with the steady cam, and we pan and we, and we meet him for the first time, we pan across a red typewriter. Mm -hmm. And then later on, we see her typing on that typewriter, and I, we, have, we assume that, this, that he gave it to her, that she complimented it, and he, he gave it to her. So um, he's given her, he's taken a lot from her in the course of this story, but he's also given her something. He's given, you know, this dream and hope she had to be a writer. He, actually, her experience with him is what galvanized that into her, her life and her career. And so there are a lot of ways in which I do feel that both characters are protagonists because I spent a lot of time thinking about why they are the way they are and why they fell in love and why they fell apart. And, um, you know, the ending scene um, where he's, he's looking through a window, that's for me where he becomes, I think, fully a protagonist because we can all relate to being on the outside looking in being outside, having regrets. You know, it's kind of like that, um, you know, that movie Stella Dallas, the um, Barbara Stanwyck, um, that the last scene where she, she goes to, to watch her long lost daughter get married through a window. And it's a very different, they have very different motivations. And I, you know how that character feels because as she's walking away, her eyes are filled with tears and she's grinning and you know that she's proud that even though she wasn't there for her daughter, she was able to, some, you know, whatever it was that happened in her daughter's life, she ended up happy at the end and she was happy to see that. I didn't want us to see his face as he's walking away because I wanted us to wonder, was he happy, to, was he just seeing if she was okay? Was he like, was he about to walk in, but was he leaving thinking it's time to leave well enough alone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I've put her through enough yeah, yeah. Like, and, and we'll, we'll we will always wonder, we will never know. If anyone, up there, they are. storytellers of our generation, you know, she's a poet. So, so naturally, you know, like, I, I, uh, I obviously knew she could execute, um, you know, something that she wanted to tell, that she always has, right? Um, and then as soon as you have your first conversation with her, it's just a no-brainer. And she had an answer to every question. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, okay, so often writer-directors are kind of controlling with actors sometimes. Never me, but um, <laughs> uh, I, I'm really, I'm not. Um, uh, well, but the performance feels so alive, feels so organic, feels like just two energy balls bouncing off each other in different ways. So how did it roll like on the set? I mean, it really just was such a intimate, comfortable environment. Um, and like, there's so much power in that and just making your actors feel so at home and giving them like full creative freedom to just kind of like explore and, and having like, 
you know, coming from shows that are very like technical and there's lots happening, this was so different than anything I had done because it was like the room was lit and you could move wherever you wanted and it wasn't like a, there wasn't a set script or movement that you had to stick to. Um, so there was just so much freedom and then that's I think how, you know, we got like such real moments and there was no, um, I don't know, we just, we didn't really have to hold anything back. Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree with like, you know, when you said earlier she's such a, natural Taylor's such a writer director and she always has been she's always been such a storyteller like um and I've always believed like literally you know one of the truest storytellers of our generation you know she's a poet <laughs> so, so naturally you know like I I, uh, I obviously knew she could execute um you know something that she wanted to tell as she always has right um and then as soon as you have